Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching Epen Essentials. In today's video, we are going to uncover a possible hidden game changer for you. So if you are a panel builder and like to do panel design in Pro Panel and would like to know is it possible to do process wiring without schematics, this video is right for you. Alright, so as you can see here in my screen, I have prepared a project without electrical schematics and I placed just one enclosure in the layout space. So in the device navigator, you can only see uh, device tag one, which is the enclosure and no more content here. And now the question is, how can I do panel layout and wiring in ProPanel without schematics? A quick solution is the functionality ePlan Project Processing. So what ePlan Project Processing does is it allows you to import in two steps, device tag list and the point-to-point -point connection list from a source like Excel or text files. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So as you see in the schematics, I have prepared a device tag list and a connection list so just to give you an idea how this information can look like. And I'm going to show you how to import it in our project. So first, we're going to import a device tag list. The device tag list could look something like this. You need a device tag and essentially a part number. If your devices consist of multiple parts, you can use the part number two information. So this is a very simple export, should be done by any CAD software and ready for us to import. Okay, so now how to import this device tag list information in ePlan? We will simply go to File, Import. Scroll here down and under devices, you see the first point is here devices. So we will click on devices and the import device data window will open. Here you can select in the source between Excel and text file. In our case, we are using Excel as you have seen. Under data source, we are selecting the file location as well as which tab we would like to import. And what's very important here is the field assignment. In the field assignment scheme, we are pairing the uh, source columns with ePlan properties. So if we click here on the free dot button, we can see we prepared a scheme where we see all of the columns, the uh, column name and a respective ePlan property. So this is a very quick scheme setup, could be probably done in a couple of minutes. And after this, we are ready to import a device tag list. So we will just confirm here with OK. And we will receive the synchronized devices window. In the synchronized devices window, we can now confirm that the information which we would like to import is correct. Mainly interesting here is the part number column in which we can see which parts will be imported. Here we need to make sure that the information is not bold. So that the information looks like this. If it is bold, that means the part which you would like to import is not available in your parts database. And then you could use the free dot button, to, for instance, to exchange the part with one part which you have ready in your parts database. Or you can ask the person who is sending you the information if they mind changing the part to a correct part. Also, uh, here very interesting, Maybe the person who is creating the Excel file is not using the same nomenclature as you have in your parts database. So you will need to make sure, again, that the parts are correct. In my case, the parts are recognized. And so I'm scrolling here to the right side where you see essentially the status and the action column. So the status says it will add new information to the project. And under action, we could either import or select none. With none, we will simply ignore this information. So we would like to proceed and import all of this information into our project. So 
by just pressing OK, we are confirming we are happy with the selection and would like to import it. So now you see import has been completed successfully. And we received a lot of components from our Excel sheet. So now you could use ePlan Pro Panel, drag and drop functionality, for instance, out of the 3D mounting layout navigator to place the components in Pro Panel. I will now skip to the second part where I have finished the placement of the components and ready to import the point to point connection list. So in this project, for instance, I have already done the placement of the components, and now I'm ready for the second step, which is import the point-to-point -point connection list, just to confirm that there is no connections information in this project, obviously because I don't have any schematics. Okay? So in the page navigator, I can show you how a point-to-point -point connection list could, for instance, look like. This is also very simple. The wire part number, source and target information, as well as color and cross-section is important. And if you have terminals, you can define on which side of the terminal, the internal or external side, would you terminate the wire. So again, similar like the device tag list, out of any good CAD software, you should be able to export this information. Okay, how can we now import the point-to-point -point connection list in ePlan? We are also going to File, Import. Here we're scrolling down to Routing Connections and pressing Routing Connections. Very similar import connection data window like the one previously, where we can choose between Excel data and text file data. In our case, it's Excel. Field assignment, again, works very similar where we are assigning the columns from the Excel sheet with the respective ePlan properties. And one little change here is that you can, as I mentioned before, define for terminals the internal or external side. We will confirm this with OK. And again, we get a synchronized uh, routing connections window where we see which parts will be imported. Same thing like before, if the information is bold, then the wire part number cannot be found in your parts database and you should replace it. So as you see here, you have the proper information, the source and target information, the color, cross-section information of the wires, and the status and action window. So status means we will add information to a project. Import means we will importing the data. None will ignore this information. So let's go ahead and press OK. This is importing now the uh, connections into our project. We are receiving a confirmation window. Import has been completed successfully. And in the connections navigator, we find all of our wires. So just to prove you that wiring works, I will select here, for instance, this power supply and use edit route. And then the pro panel process wiring functionalities work. So this was a tutorial on how to use ePlan project processing, the way of you doing process wiring in ePlan without schematics. This wraps up today's ePlan Essentials video. If you find the content beneficial, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, and share it in your community. Also, please make sure to leave a comment under the video which other topics you would like to see on the channel soon. Until the next time, Uncle Kruno signed out.